Oh, hello there, and welcome to Blizz County, where I'm playing Big Pharma here. Big Pharma is a game developed by Twice Circled and published by Positech Games. It's a pharmaceutical management sim, kind of in the vein of Roller Coaster Tycoon. I, I say that because I really love Roller Coaster Tycoon, all right? It's a management game in terms of that, but it's also kind of a puzzle game in the sense that they fix a lot of the things you're supposed to use and you have to kind of it's it's like putting puzzle pieces together and it's really cool in that regard now i'm going to be shooting multiple parts to uh the big pharma series here i'm on the update where they just released patents and i'm going to shoot a beginner uh playthrough and i'm going to master the beginner playthrough i'll show you how i play exactly you know how the game functions how it works see if you're interested and, you know see if it's something you'd be into because this is an awesome game i love it uh, so we'll just start. We'll just jump in. You know, talk about it as we go here. You can see I'm going to play the beginner game. The bottom line, as you can see, the goal here, if it comes up, well, the goal is to make one million dollars in revenue and the mass in within ten years, and the masters to make ten million dollars in within ten years in revenue, not profits, revenue. So if you see that I'm not making that much profit in the start, don't worry. It's only counting revenue. So we're going to start playing this game here. As you can see, we're Blizz County Drugs, and uh, you can select the CEO here. I like Tess because she looks the most sophisticated out of all of them, and I, this guy's pretty tight, but I really like Tess because Tess is like the body of Blizz County Drugs, the embodiment of Blizz County Drugs, as you can see. So we're going to go in here, and as you can see, we're given, a sl we're given a small room here, and we're given a two-by-two. Two. So there's two, you know, one, two buildings going this way, and one, two rooms. You know, space is going down that way. It gets a lot bigger in the later levels. So we're just going to, you know, stay here and, uh, you know, keep keep it really small. So you see we got 10 years to make, you know, a master level is $10 million. So you see here that we got these little, you know, holes in the wall pretty much. And these can be used to either import or export drugs. So we actually can see the ingredients that we have. As you can see, we have <laughs> a painkiller and an antihistamine. Uh, and, and, and so, and they can also cut you know, the ingredient also causes headaches or narrows the pupils respectively. So what you do in order to activate the painkiller is pull down its concentration. As you can see, it's got a concentration level of 13 and you can put it through something called a dissolver to bring it down to, or an ionizer once you research it, bring it down to its active level, which is right here. Same thing with the antihistamine, you can pull it down twice and then have it be in its active level as well. But as you can see, the game has dealt that the uh, negative side effects will always be on when the positive side effect is on. And you cannot remove either of these negative side effects, which sucks, mind you, but it's something you just got to deal with. So, as you can see that our painkiller sells for $125 when it's ready and our antihistamine sells for $96. And I only have to run this through one dissolver and this one I have to run through two dissolvers. So it's a no-brainer that I'm going to be going with the painkiller today. If we go into the cure menu, you can see all the different, you know, cures you can make. I don't have any of them discovered yet, so we're going to go with this one. And uh, at the start of each game, I always like, hi love hiring my two scientists who put on the uh, researching the ionizer and the algomerator. And I, you know, if I have enough money, I hire an extra one to build up uh, research upgrade points. You can see idle scientists earn you research upgrade points to upgrade stuff like your dissolver, pill printer, evaporator, anything you really want to upgrade to reduce their operating costs or increase the cost that they add to the drugs. So as soon as we do this here, I'm going to probably buy uh, another room. And you'll see why I do that in a second. So we're going to import this painkiller. We're going to run it through one dissolver. And then we're going to put it through two pill printers. And you might be wondering, why are you putting that through two pill printers there, Blizz County? Why don't you only need one? Well, as you can see, the process time on the dissolver is one day. So as soon as a drug comes in, it takes one day for it to come out. The pill printers have a process time of two. So this thing can put out two drugs before this one pill printer can finish. So if you can get two drugs out on the line before, you know, if you can get two drugs out on the line, the pull printers will finish in two days and will be able to, you know, become super efficient. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about here in a little bit. So we're going to put another dissolver here. And this is why I bought the second room, simply because I like running, I like gambling a little bit, going big, you know what I mean? And really just grabbing two uh, different 
not too usually this one's i don't really like the way that this this one sells for a, a little <laughs> it doesn't sell for as much so i'm importing two painkillers and rolling the dice on how much i get here i'm gonna run it at max speed here because it's kind of slow on normal speed and as you can see it's going through the dissolver the painkiller thing is operating and as you can this is why i get two you can see that as soon as these finish as soon as these will finish, they'll take in the next two drugs and then put out two pills. So we're going to name the product. And of course, we're going to call it Blizz County Headache Inducer. Isn't that kind of weird that you have a painkiller that causes headaches? Isn't that kind of like the thing that you take painkillers for? So I'm going to gonna warn these people buying this drug. Blizz County Headache Inducer. There we go. We're naming this one. And we're going to see how much money it makes me here. As you can see, I'm making... $145 per pill that goes through here, and we're making some daily profits. So when you get profits like that, what it allows you to do is hire more. It allows you to hire some more researchers. Our cure ranking, if you go into the company, we got our competitor up here as well, is C. And that's the average rank for every cure that comes out. But as you can see, we've eased seven pains and caused five headaches, which is actually that pretty bad. It's a pretty bad ratio, so we're probably going to be getting downgraded. And if you, your cure ranking gets downgraded to something like a D or an E, you lose that you get a percentage reduction on the overall value of the uh, the drug and if it goes up to a C plus a B an A or an S an S ranking I think is pretty much only achievable in the advanced levels where you can actually directly manipulate the cure ranking um, that is when you can actually really start making some serious green you know so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hire one extra researcher like I said we would do for the idle points and you know what we can actually probably hire an explorer right now as well now what explorers will do is you can hire an explorer and you can actually send them out to get new ingredients for new uh, drugs. And idle explorers will actually sit here and get some ingredient upgrade points to upgrade the ingredient and that will reduce the cost it takes to import that ingredient, which is really good. <laughs> really, really good. When you um, start, you know, pulling in really high demanded products. So it's really crazy. Anyway. So I was pretty much just running this through this here. Do we have a reason? Ooh, what happened there? I guess our, as you can see, our cure. Oh man, I was uh, I was running the game a little bit, and you can see our cure got downgraded to a, a, an E level. So I don't think I'm be hiring another explorer there. Oh man, that's that's not good. That's not good at all. Anyway, so uh, we we're, we're we, you know we we have a little bit of a slip up here, but. Our research is almost finished. We got our competitors releasing stuff right now. So as you can see, the Blizz County Headache Inducer is a drug that will induce almost as much headaches as it does cure pain. Pretty much. <laughs> it's not that great. We kind of got shafted a little bit on our initial... Our initial uh, ingredients there, but that's okay. That's the big thing about big farm is that you can get you can persevere or, or you know you can just keep re-rolling and if you can if you don't if you can't do that I guess and as you can see we got our ionizer and alchemator so we're also going to grab uh, alternative delivery and national headquarters on top of that so we can you know research more stuff we also have one research upgrade point which is really good so if we go into our ingredients what exactly do we want to make today do we want to make something that alleviates insomnia or eases the migraines. I think allevi the alleviates insomnia medication will it, it costs a lot more, so that means more profits. Jay. Yeah. But I only need to run this through one ionizer and an evaporator. Well, I need to run this through an ionizer and two dissolvers. Okay, that's that's a no-brainer. Let's we're we're doing it. We're doing it. We're gonna buy another uh, room here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna import this here. Uh, let's do that. Do I want to import it there or do I want to import it here? I could just import it here. I think it would be better for me to import it here just so it's kind of out of the way. We'll import it here. We'll get it through an ionizer. There we go. An ionizer and then I think I said I needed a dissolver as well, right? An ionizer. I don't know. Ionizer and an evaporator. That's perfect. Now, I also said that this game is kind of a, a, like a puzzle kind of got a puzzle aspect to it as you can see the dissolver you know it comes in one way and goes out the other way and those ways are fixed okay and as you can see the evaporator goes out and comes out a different it goes out a, in a different way and comes out a different way as, as opposed to the dissolver and that is in essence how this game becomes a puzzle game once you start 
you know, filling up this space, it gets, starts getting really crazy trying to fit a bunch of, you know, things together. And you'll see that in a little, you'll see that when I start, you know, getting really into this here. So we're just going to stop importing this just so we see exactly how much, um, how much other things I need to really do with this. You'll see in a second right here, we have upgraded the thing here. Oh God. Um, yeah, the Eases migraine is right in the middle of this headache causing, but we can see that by our last... We can see that by our last uh, thing here that we're causing quite a bit of headaches. So the strength for causes headaches is somewhere around here. Or wait, wherever... Somewhere it's... We're probably almost close to max strength right here for the headache causing uh, um, side effect here. So if we pull it down... I'm, I'm, this, is a, this is also pure gamble. If we pull it down, say to like here or here, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If I pull it down all the way there, I'm probably just gonna run it through one ionizer and see exactly what it does. So if we do that, this is why I need a creamer. What a creamer will do is it will reduce the amount of, um, it, it, it replaces the pill printers and what it does is it actually reduces the strength of negative side effects, which is perfect because this is what all I'm getting on this uh, th build here is a bunch of negative side effects. Now we can't call this one the Blizz County headache and we can't call this one the Blizz County uh, headache inducer simply because that, you know, it's, 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 we, also, we already have the Blizz ache headache inducer. So we're going to call this the Blizz County contradict, contradiction pill. Because it eases migraines, but also causes headaches at the exact same time. So here we go. <laughs> and we'll see how this goes. As you can see, we should be making some serious bank here in the, in the next little bit once this thing starts getting rolling, which it is right now. $248. Here we go. So we got enough to pretty much hire... Yeah, we're getting quite a bit of cash now. So we'll hire our explorer. Um, sexual health or skin... Um, right now because this one requires two explorers I don't have the money for that right now because I want to hire a few more researches as well sexual health and skin so yep that sexual health one is actually looking pretty good so we're just gonna slap that researcher on the sexual health uh, ingredients and hire one more researcher on top of that and hope to God that we you know research everything we need here so and also hope that our you know our at least it's not E minus it was it E minus or is it just E I think it was just E so as you can see we're causing Oh man, it's still looking pretty bad. I think we'll probably get up to maybe like a C plus with this. Hopefully, hopefully we don't go down to like an E with this one. Like that. Oh no. Oh no. If all if all you know if all else fails, I can just throw on another ionizer and bring it down even farther. Man, this is this is why I like this game. It's just you just don't really know until you get an analyzer and then you can actually see. Yeah. Um, I'm really, I'm really got to pull this down here. You'll, you'll see what happens when I get the analyzer here. All right. And as you can see, I can actually in upgrade this even farther to upgrade to anti-seizure medication. But as you can see, I need a, a catalyst. So I need to mix this in with another ingredient. And that will take uh, a little bit of time. I don't have the, uh, the know-how yet. Well, I know how to do it. I just don't have the upgrades yet. So we're making $30 a day. We finished this. We got, ooh, two upgrade points. Since I'm running through, am I running through two ionizers or just one? I think I'm running through two, aren't I? I am running through two ionizers. So I'm going to upgrade my ionizer and my pill printer. And what the, what the upgrade of the ionizer does is it costs $35 initially to run it, but now it only costs $32. And upgrading the pill printer, what it does is it uh, actually increases the drugs by 23 instead of 20. All right. So hopefully our eases migraine medic is still at a C. We're getting a much better ratio for our anti-migraine than uh, we are our painkiller. So hopefully it goes up in a cure percentage, just a little bit. Cure rating, just a little. C plus would do wonders for me right now. I'll just stop. I'm not even really importing anything there. How's our ingredients? How's our ingredients explode doing? He's doing pretty good. 64 for Nintendo 64! Sorry, I couldn't make my voice as high as those little kids. As you can see, we can make anti-seizure, which I don't think is actually that great of an idea for me right now. Uh-uh, I can't be doing that. So our research is done. Looks like we've got our alternative delivery. Throw some people on the creamer. Also throw some people on basic auxiliary so I can get my analyzer. Ah, there we go. Great time to be live right now, Blizz County. 
Everybody's be getting healed at Blizz County, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Now, uh, with the... With the absolutely abysmal... Uh, E minus. Yeah, my profits aren't really that good. Um... Yeah. What I could probably actually do is start making these... Um... Into... Migraine. Oh no. Oh no. Anyways. So what we're gonna try and do is actually make these... You can see where the puzzle aspect's coming into now. So we're just gonna actually just delete all this stuff right here. And then just, uh... There we go. Come on. I was double clicking on you, you ionizer. Let... Oh, I did not want to do that. So we're gonna buy another, uh, evaporator. To go right here. And then another ionizer to go right about here. Assuming that I can move my pill printers around. We're going to build, move this just over here right now. Ionizer right here. And then, see, we got, we're just building the same thing. Ionizer, evaporator, ionizer, pill printers. There we go. Ionizer, evaporator, ionizer. Into some pill printers. There we go. Of course, we're deleting some of the other pills, but I don't mind that much. And now, here's what we got. We got two migraine easing d supply lines here. Which I'm prob I'm saturating the market a little bit by doing that, but I don't really care because I wasn't making any money on those painkiller lines at all. But with each, with this one, with the anti-migraine, I'm making $111. Now, actually, hmm, how about, ooh, that's actually a good idea. Instead of doing that, why don't I actually throw this through two ionizers and see how it comes out? Why don't I do that instead? I could do that. Do that on this one over here, actually. Because now I should be making some serious bank. You can see I've now got money coming in on this end. We got that new ingredient discovered. Ooh. That looks like a very, 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 very pleasing upgrade, actually. So if we go into, if we start importing this, I just honestly just want to see, like, exactly what... Okay, female contraceptive, uh, it's not really that great. Not really that great at all, in terms of money. It's better than my Eases Migraine, though, so what the hell? Why the hell not, right? It's better than this. <laughs> it's better than what I got going on here, so... What do I got in terms of, of my researchers now? I haven't used any algomerators yet, which is actually pretty funny. Uh, next thing I'm going to grab is this advanced processing. Actually, I think I got enough input income to really do that now. Ooh. Uh-oh, that's not good. Aha, I, I couldn't hire enough scientists. Uh, then the next time I really, you know, want to... Want to upgrade something else, I can... Or, uh make a different kind of drug, I can just take out a loan, as you can see right here. 38 daily payment, that's not that bad at all. And uh, our one, our one explorer almost has this fully, uh, this point here, and then I'll upgrade, um, the painkiller. The Salty Regia, or Regia Liquid. Hmm, that sounds like a great painkiller, doesn't it, guys? We almost got this done here, so I'm just honest, then, you know, it's also running in the background, too, so... If I'm ever in those screens and you can see that double arrow going, yeah, it's they're still making drugs. So we'll see the objective here. We're we're pretty much on point for level or for beating the standard level here already. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna import Oh, we got a research complete there. Looks like we got a bunch of researchers. We're going to research the analyzer, we're going to research that, and we're also going to research uh, planning permission as well. Or actually, do I want to research planning permission or advanced construction techniques? Advanced construction techniques, I think, is going to make uh, save me a lot of money in the near future here. So I'm going to research that instead. And what do we got in terms of research points? I got three research points. So do I want to upgrade my ionizers? Hell yeah, I want to upgrade my ionizers. And as you can see, it'll push up my profit just a little bit more. It was at 70-something. Now it's maxing out at 80-something. So we're looking really good. Awesome. So, yeah, are, I wonder, is, are we still only at C for that? Yeah, we're only mag we're only getting to C for that cure. E minus for... <laughs> I'm, tr 
tried to make something beautiful. But all I did was... It's actually got a pretty accurate name now. The Blizz County Headache Inducer. Yes, and our contradiction pills are doing pretty good as well. <laughs> okay, our, I guess that's our analyzer. Uh, do, I don't really have the money to buy and use an analyzer yet. Because it what how an analyzer works is you put it on the line where your drugs are going through. And it, 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 it eats the drug to analyze it. And that just directly hinders the profits of, you know, this here. So I can't really do that right now. I usually do that on, the you know, a lot of my blue and purple cures. But I don't really have the opportunity to do that right now. Let's see how our competitor is doing. Flake relief? Who needs flake relief? Uh, he's got, oh, oh, that eases migraine pills actually better than mine. Uh-oh. Well, I guess there's a little bit of competition, but I'm still making money. Well, don't you, don't you guys worry, be worrying though. I'm going to have my autoclaves here really soon. It's going to be super, super cool. I'll hire maybe one more explorer here. One more explorer, and then we'll go and we'll grab a, a couple of catalysts here. Since that, uh, I... Blue cat. Uh, there's no blue catalyst in the forest, so I'm actually going to grab that right now. It's a green catalyst right there, and we'll see how that goes. Usually when I level up, or when I produce stuff with a green catalyst on it, it actually, like, its future upgrades require a green catalyst. So I'm like, nice, I don't even have to mix it with anything else. It's really weird, actually, and I love it a lot. All right. So, yeah, we're just, we're just honestly just watching this thing go by. You know what, I probably could just take out a loan right now and then just... Yeah, I should have done that a long time ago, actually. And import the... This liquid here. So we're going to run it through... Two ionizers, I guess. How's that antihistamine look? How does that antihistamine look? So if we go antihistamine, we go to alleviate insomnia. That's actually... Oh, and it costs a little bit less, too. I think I'm probably actually going to go with this. So we run it through... Uh, an ionizer and two dissolvers as opposed to two ionizers. Yeah, let's do that instead. Here we go. We're going to import it here. An ionizer. And then two dissolvers here. Now here's the thing. I already have a dissolver, so I don't need to buy a second. I don't need to buy another dissolver. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it in here like this. And then see how this goes. I'm going to pull in that one there. Stop it so that I don't buy any more. I don't want to buy any more of that drug. So it is at, it's, yep, it's going to be upgraded as soon as I run it through this dissolver here. Now, as you can see, I got to push it up a lot to alleviate insomnia. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll push it through three alchemators here. We'll push it through this one. We'll push it through this one. We'll push it through this one. And then we'll push it through a couple pill printers. There and there. I could probably actually push it. No, I can't do that. There and there. Okay. So we'll just connect these together. And as we connect those together there, we'll do this. We'll connect them like this. And then bring it to there like that. So as you can see, we got... Now we'll start importing the uh, antihistamine as well. I believe that's what it was. And you can see that as soon as we're running it through these alchemators now, we're pushing it up in concentration. And now you can see the greatest thing ever. We're out of the side effect range. And we are now into alleviates insomnia beauty range right now. Research has been completed there. So we got that. We'll put uh, we two researchers, I guess, on that because I'll need it later. We got one pill here. And you know what? It's 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 doesn't have any negative side effects. We don't need to do with this. It's called Blizz County um, Sleep Ease. You know I know why? Because people with insomnia can't go to sleep. And when I can do that, you know, they can go to sleep when they take this drug here. They and they won't be having any narrow pupils. They won't they will they will be able to see some light. You know what I mean? It'll be a great time. We'll pull it in some serious bank here, hopefully. We sure as hell are. I can almost pay back this loan, hopefully. I'm making a hundred dollars a day? Damn, son! Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Our research is going over pretty good. We can upgrade our this and pull even more profits in. Pulling in profits is something you just gotta do all the time, you know? So five five people had a good night's sleep. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. 
So hopefully this cure goes up in 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 uh because it's actually cost actually no wait yeah that's cost more to make than my insom migraine relief there the contradiction pills. In that case, you know what I might do? I might. Hmm. I wonder if I should do that and just run it. If I don't upgrade in cure strength, yeah. I'm wondering if I should just run. Yeah, this is a time where I have the money. I can start really running the stuff through a uh, an upgrade that. And what do I need? Do I need the autoclave or do I need the cryogenic condenser for stuff? Looks like for this and a blue catalyst, I need a cryogenic condenser. We're gonna research both of them anyways. So I'll research actually the cryogenic condenser first. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now, since I have the money to, is go into here. We're gonna take this out. And we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about analyzers here. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna put it on the on there, and it's gonna eat the thing that has the alleviates insomnia. So we're gonna find the max strength, and what you can see our profits are gonna dwindle a lot here. Um, <laughs> and it's it's dissolve. It's uh, it's getting rid of the drug or getting rid of the ingredient. However, and apparently. Whoa, we must have went up and no, we didn't. Why? Why? Why do we? Why are we getting so much profit there? I don't even know why we're getting so much profit there. But soon we're gonna have a couple uh, microscopes that come up up here, and those will tell us that we are actually finding the maximum strength of this drug here. Considering that this has no negative side effects, I can easily make this work. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, let's let's do this. Let's do this, guy. Okay, now we can see that that the uh, narrows pupils and where was the one that narrowed pupils? This one, this one. Which one? Okay, I guess we're not using this one at all. So yeah, we found that the narrows pupils maximum strength is at that purple section. I want that purple stuff. So anyways, yeah, I didn't really, I don't really look at those globe things because they just trick me up. It's like, yeah, I can make stuff for that. And as you can see, alleviates insomnia strength is right there. And I think I'm reaching right here. So if I push it up two more, I can get max strength. So that's the plan. Okay. So we are reaching. So here we get one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I got to put it through. If I could put it through uh, two evaporators, that'd be perfect. And then I could have a cure that actually is awesome. You know what I mean? So that's just the general way of thought. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Um, we got to do a couple things here. In order to do this, we're gonna try. We're gonna try something different. This is where the puzzle aspect comes into play. So we're gonna run an evap. I'm gonna run one here. Um, uh, we're also gonna run. I wonder if I could run one here. Oh no! Oh no! I can't do that. Um, we're really close to the max strength here. Now, who? How could I do this? I could expand into here, actually, and then throw an evap right. Oh no, I couldn't. Oh no, I can't do that. Uh, I could do this. Run it in through here like that. Nope, won't work. Okay. Um. What if I did this and pretty much just get rid of the in Nope, that won't work. All right. Or maybe it will work. I got to move it like this. We're losing a little bit of money, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. I want that drug to be perfect, guys. I want it to be perfect. Um Um Here's what, we're, here's what I'm going to do instead. There we go. And now we can run it through one more evap right about here. And now what we can do is put it in here like this and in here like this. And here we go. No, I wanted you to go down like this. And now we can go across like that. And, oh, I thought I didn't have enough money. And bam, we got it, guys. We're going to watch this new drug. It's going to be called the Blizz County Kick-Ass Drug. Because it does kick ass and chew bubble gum. Got some research complete as well. We also found, found that new... Uh, oh my god, there's also a blue catalyst on there as well. 
Oh my god. Okay, well, we'll be probably using that next time around. We'll also research uh, Desert Expeditions as well. And I want to see how this drug goes. We're going to see it. We're going to see it in action here. There we go. We are at max strength there. Current strength, 100%. Bam. We are alleviating so much insomnia. Blizz County Snore, buddy. How about Blizz County? Uh, yeah, let's just s soar, buddy. <laughs> I hate this keyboard, guys. I'm not used to it. Anyway, so yeah. We got our new drug. It's 100% strength. No negative side effects. We're going to be making some serious bank with this. Hopefully it's cure ranking goes up. Sleepies. I'm just going to take this off here. Sold per month. Yep. No, nope, we're going to take that off. We're making a little bit less per month, but trust me, we're making more per month when this thing gets up to an A ranking. So I'm going to conclude this episode of Blizz County. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to keep playing this uh, for the next couple episodes here. We're going to be getting the master's rank. So until then, I'll see you on Blizz County here. Yeah.